Who doesn't love cafes? Who doesn't love animals? How about we add cafes with animals? Animal cafes! That's right, today Amanda and I are going to check out a very specific animal cafe, a meerkat cafe. Hi, I'm Ryan Custodio, a former elementary and middle school teacher. After years of teaching and learning, I've realized that learning doesn't just have to be in the classroom. So, I quit my job and left the United States to learn from others from all around the world, starting in South Korea. Welcome to my journey. Welcome to my classroom. Theming cafes seem to be very huge here in Korea. From the world famous Harry Potter cafe, four stories full of amazing Harry Potter themes, to the typical cat cafes that can be also found in Japan, they even have traditional Korean cafes. Okay, looks like we are at a meerkat cafe. Amanda decided to surprise me and bring me somewhere unique and special. Meerkat cafe, meerkat. Friends, let's check this out. They have different sections inside this cafe where you can sit with the meerkats right behind me right there as you can see. Go around, the cats are just sitting on tables being ready. We have the wallabies hopping around and a lot of different spots. Look at this right here. Look at that. So we're about to feed the wallabies. Let's give this a go. Basically they just came up to us and asked if we wanted to feed the wallabies. Gave us some food, told us not to touch anything but pet their back. And wallabies just came up and ate out of our hands. Wow. think about it? Um, I thought it was amazing. So many different animals. We went to a cat cafe in Tokyo and that was pretty cool. That blew our minds but I feel like the meerkat cafe was definitely a step up. And we had a lot of animals. Yes, not just cats. Different... Can you remember all the different animals? Okay. There's... I don't know what one of the, I still don't know what that cat thing was called. Hmm. Akito or... I don't know. There was meerkats. There meerkats. was, what are the kangaroo thingies? Wallabies. 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 What else? There was like... White foxes. foxes. The white foxes were not available for petting. Yeah, the jumpy cat thing. That's what I don't remember. Garrett? Garat? Oh, yes. Yeah. Jarrett? And then obviously Maybe we meerkats. Should, don't we have a list of these animals? Yeah, let's Where's your check phone? Check the bid. It's on the bid. And a raccoon. Oh, raccoon that high-fived everybody. That was pretty oh, cool. Oh, like this. <laughs> Clapped. Yeah. Well-trained uh, animals yeah. that you should not have in your home. Yeah. The meerkats, we were able to interact with quite a bit. Mm -hmm. They like to dig. Yeah. So. And they were just so cute. You pet them, and mm -hmm. they were like, sleeping in my lap. And that was definitely my favorite part. That's because you gave really good I pets. I do give good pets. She gives really good, <laughs> she gives really good pets okay. to meerkats. Yes. Only. All animals. To all animals. Love pets. Mostly meerkats. But this was quite a great find because first I thought it was just a meerkat cafe. And then when we saw all the different types of animals in there, including cats, with the meerkats, 
and the foxes and, and the wallabies. Cats. There still were cats. Yes, there were still cats. And how well all these animals were actually getting along. Well, there's always something that you learn from an experience like this. First off, animals are awesome. Yeah. What would we do without animals? I don't know. They definitely show us this sense of innocence and survival too. And yeah, there's something beautiful about just being able to coexist with something that like, big. Oh, oh, right she's into the microphone. Into the mic. Good job. Good job. Speaking of coexisting, there's something that animals do that I feel like humans are also capable of doing, but animals just do automatically. It's just giving unconditional love. From dogs to our cats to our hamsters, we'll be there for you, for the food, for the love, for the pets. Companionship. The companionship especially. That's actually something that was quite pleasant when we arrived at the Meerkat Cafe. It seemed as though a lot of the animals were excited to see all the people coming in. They were curious, for I'm sure, curious. too. I also really like how they had the whole setup going. Like, they did little stations with, like, different animals, and you just, you got to interact. They made sure you interacted with, like, each animal, and I feel like they really did a good job, and they really, like, were excited to show what the animals could do, and it wasn't just like, here, look at all these animals. To add on to that, I feel like you can tell that the workers and the owners of that shop really do care about animals. Mm -hmm. What a great experience yeah, overall. Yeah, awesome. I highly, highly recommend that. I do too. Well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and we can't wait for you to see our next adventure. See you next time. Bye.